I would encourage you to not think of yourself as the one who go back to the church to change it. You can't do it as a lone ranger. You can't do it. It will never happen. You have to find other um, soulmates. You have to put together a group in your church where you begin to imagine. And you, you're probably going to have to get a pastor or some board member or somebody inspired along the lines. This isn't like it was uh, 20, 30, 40 years ago. There are some resources available to you. Find out what other churches. I know somebody told me they're, they're in a Presbyterian church, you know, I don't think we can do this in a Presbyterian church without having a gallery. Well, I listed off about six Presbyterian uh, churches that have major galleries, and at the moment, the best ones in churches in the United States. Find those. Find the models that you need, not just for galleries, but to do something like this, to bring one piece in, borrow it from an artist for a period of time, to bring in somebody to teach a Sunday school class around art, to uh, take a piece of art and in a class and um, write about it individually, discuss it together. All of this so you may grow visually. Find, uh, stack the library with some books. Encourage people to be reading them. You be reading them. All these things to grow because all we have done here is plant the smallest seed. And if you leave here and don't water this, don't nurture it, don't continue to develop, it's going to wither and it will be as if you weren't even here. Remember that there are people in your church who aren't um, going to be fed just with words. They need the image, I mean, they need music, and some of them need the image. And that's going to be the inspiration. That, um, that's going to be your calling to reach out to those people. And you'll also grow.